This is a quick little video that not everyone will need, but those who need it really, really need it. I'm going to show you how to insert a screw, how to reinstall a screw. Now that seems really stupid and obvious, right? You put it in, you turn it clockwise, righty tighty. Well, this is a sheet metal screw and the screws used in sheet metals, here's the doghouse on the 65 Super Reverb. The sheet metal screws that they use are self-tapping, which means that they cut a hole in the steel. They, draw, they drill out a small straight hole in this with smooth edges and they install this and it makes its own thread which means that every time you insert it, it's willing and able to cut new threads. And if you do it wrong, you cut all the old threads away, there's no steel left to grab, and the screw never tightens. So if you just put this in and start turning clockwise, you can cut new threads and strip this out. So what do you do instead to ensure that won't happen? You put the screw straight down, and you turn it slightly counterclockwise until it kind of clicks and falls into place where it's gonna be. There it goes, and then you can tighten it normally from that point, and it threads right into the existing threads, and then you can tighten it down. And I make sure that all four of them have been started before I tighten any of them down fully, because if you tighten three down uh, fully, this can be slightly off center, and then the screw will bite it the whole way, and then you get a different kind of damage to the threads of your screws. If you do have one that's been stripped out, and there's no metal to grab, you have two options. Number one, depending on what's on the other side, if this hits the, the fiberboard on the other side or whether there's a clear area of chassis, is you can replace this with a number six machine screw with a nut on the other side. The other option, this is a number eight, you can sometimes go to a number 10 sheet metal screw, which will grab fresh metal. That's not optimal, but sometimes it's the best thing available to us just to make sure that it is tight because you have to have this cover on the doghouse, otherwise there's live voltage exposed to the player. And while you're in the neighborhood, so to speak, make sure all the other transformer mounting hardware is nice and tight. Doing this maybe once a year, just checking that all these things are tight and the, the nuts on your jacks are tight can really prevent a lot of problems down the road. Anyway, thanks for watching.